Teresa, our special guest star here on Monversation, you've written a book which has a very funny title, Exploiting My Baby, because it's exploiting me, but you actually get into some heavy stuff about, you know, how it was hard for you and scary for you uh, to become a mom. A lot of the experience of being pregnant for me was this abiding, paralyzing self-doubt about how I was gonna be as a mother because my mom looked at motherhood like, I don't know. So I think she approached motherhood with what I would term benign neglect. And secretly I was terrified, like what if I have a kid and it's just a bummer? Like what if my whole life is just discussions of, you know, uh, organic baby food and nasal aspirators, you know? I don't want my mind and my ass to be wearing mom jeans. Catherine, how did you feel when you were on the verge of motherhood? Were you frightened? I was terrified. I, I was, you know, motherhood is just such a big unknown. And I mean, I, you know, I had an awesome mother. I had a mother who loved motherhood, although she loved it in a really perverse kind of way. I mean, she liked, you know, laughing at us more than she liked laughing with us. But I, I was really terrified, you know, that, you know, organic baby food, you know, yoga pants, you know, it just, the whole thing just seemed like this big, you know, icky, you know, unknown that yeah, I really wasn't sure that I was going to be prepared for. And I mean, of course I wasn't because none of us are, right? I wasn't scared. I was like, woohoo, you know, once <laughs> I was finally going to, you know, pregnant and go for it. And I think one of the things that I don't know if you guys feel this way is that you think, oh, bottles, poop, whatever. And then when you get in it, the bottles and the poop, that's not the scary part. The scary part is when you're challenged emotionally to respond, you know, in a, in a correct and even way with your kid, or, you know, did I, am I, I disciplined agree with you. now? You know, that kind of stuff. Here's the thing, it's more the stakes, and I, I had no way of predicting that. Like, I'm not a gambler, I'm very risk averse. I feel like I'm sitting at the high rollers table and every hand is all in and I don't like that feeling because every single thing I have is on the table every day, every minute now that I have a child and that's something I don't even know if I explained it eloquently but it's something I couldn't have understood before. Like when you have something, you have something huge to lose. Yes. And that haunts me a lot. That is a very good way to put it. And I'm not, I don't even go to the nickel slots in Vegas. I hate gambling so much, <laughs> so, you know. But you know, and, 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 and getting back to that the vulnerability when you say like, I think maybe because of you, you felt a little insecure and in, in, you know, some of your upbringing issues, maybe that- I did, I more feel it like, every day. Like, I feel it every day. On my way to daycare every day, I, I like say a prayer. You know what I would say, uh, in, and what I have said to a new insecure mom is, you're gonna be scared. It's going to be scary. There's, there's no escaping being scared. There's no escaping being nervous. And you're gonna live through more fear than you thought it was possible to live through. But you're gonna be okay. And it's all gonna be worthwhile. And really, when it comes down to it, you know, the only thing you really have to worry about is whether you're loving your child as well as you can. You know, obviously providing for them, but if you're loving your child as well as you can and you've got at least some laughter some of the time, you know, then you're gonna be okay. All right, thanks guys, that was awesome. Now, if you are working out your demons as a parent or you're trying to help somebody kind of get over that scary first motherhood hump, let us know your words of wisdom right here. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.